is a Hoover Compact Electronic S3462 from January 1988. That is it's very nice indeed. These are lovely machines. I've had a fair few myself. Sadly, it is suffering from what they can, can, well, can commonly suffer from. A broken wheel. Yes, unfortunately, this little Hoover Compact is suffering from what probably sent many to the tip years ago. Let's have a look and see what it's like despite that damage. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. Coming over? He's over there by the telly. How are you today? Eating the timer? Stop it. We're cooking our dinner. Well, I'm cooking my dinner. Yes, this is from Mr. James. This is one of the payments for the sharks. And yeah, it's not too bad. We have the machine and we have, we got these out of their bag. We have the tools. We have a contour floor head in what I would consider very good condition. I'd say a lot of that is actually dirt. The rest of it is certainly fine, considering how bad these get. It seems to be so. Ooh, bless it. But that's cool. We can clean that up. Two plastic fantastic ones. The horrible, really bendy ones. Blech, blech. And a nice crush proof hose with the Hoover Contour hand grip, not the nice electronic one, sadly. Although, underneath all of this, you'll be able to see the punch out points for it, but certainly a lovely handle as well. And the new bog standard. Three lug Hoover Compact fitting. On to the machine itself, and it's got a few massive scratches on it. You can probably see them from there. And I'll be able to buff them out, apart from where they go over this bit. Don't quite know. We'll have to see how it comes up. But if we open the lid, look, we can find some stuff. We have a Hoover air freshener. The orange one, I don't actually know. Which one the orange one is? Oh, I, was, I was hoping the service manual would help, but no, I don't think I've seen an orange one. I normally just see the green one, so there we go. It's either Spring Bouquet or Summer Meadow or Orchard Blossom. They're all black and white. I want to say it's probably Orchard Blossom because it's grayscale white it's the nearest. Who knows? Who cares? I don't even know if it goes. Normally there's like a slot. Ah, there it is. Now. Nah. Thought it went there. Doesn't smell of anything. Who cares? Right, we have ourselves a very nice dusting brush, very nice upholstery tool, and very nice crevice tool. This is either a Mr. James special, or he just, you know, he's put all the good tools with it. Or he's got very lucky if we even move the tool tray. Ha ha! We will see the answer to our problem. There is our broken wheel, and it's very common for that to go. You might be able to repair it if you can find the right sort of glue. I don't know what sort of plastic this is, but it's on a very high stress point. All of the weight of the machine sits on there, so you can budget. I've seen, I've seen them bolted through on one as I have before. So yeah, it's fixable. But hey, Mr. James has two used, but mm, fairly, but yeah. About the same, but not smashed. So I'll put those out of the way. And a nice brand new bag as well. Have ourselves a pre-motor filter. If you can call this little slip of something that we can we can certainly improve on that when we get round to it. And that is that. The foam that's under there is under there. And we're not going to go into that now. But it's probably completely ruined and needs to be replaced as well. Put that back in there as well. We'll leave the wheels out for now. So when we turn it on, we don't smash them and I don't have to go, ha ha, hi James. Broke those really rare, hard to find wheels you gave me. Yeah, I need another set. Not gonna work, is it? Ah. I don't know if this is the right tool tray for this. 
Dustin brush legend is different. Oh well. Oh, let's put out the plug. And... Oh, typical, horrible. Oh, no, actually, that's a pretty decent mover compact rerun. What I'm ooming at, if I can just. Oh, this hasn't been unwound in a while. Is the Delamere plug. Look at that, look. Delamere. I've seen one or two of those. It's been opened with a screwdriver that's too big and the wires aren't really doing much in fact I can spy my toolbox up here and we've opened plugs raw before and really thanked ourselves that we did because when they're like that anything could have been pulled out always check this one is okay at least but hey while we're here I always cut the end off the cables. I don't know. Here's a little tip that I do. I always ah, get up there. That'll do. I'll always cut the cable back and then redo it just so that it, it takes any kinks out of the bottom and also any bits of strain that are starting. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I'll always try and do that, especially if it's a tatty old cable at the end. You can always trim it back and it, 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 it just comes out of the plug nicer. There we are. All right, let's feed this some power. No well, idea if the suppressor is going to go. I don't think the compact is terribly prone for that, so that's not too bad. Ready? I don't know where the bird is. Yeah, nice compact sound. Really, I do like these. I had a load of them. I, I, I had about seven at one point, but I got really bored and sold pretty much all of them to Steve Cook from the Vintage Appliance Emporium. So I go and badger him in his comments to show you all the compacts that I once had. But yeah, quite nice to get another one. This is probably the better one to have. They did an earlier version which didn't have built in tools and or a core rewind actually on them bit of a pain in the bum. These are at least better, you know. They're still perfectly good little cleaners. I'm sure we used one for 12 vacuums in 12 months a fair old while ago, but from low down to high up. reasonable enough it's certainly not physically you know well, not, no it is physically damaged it's certainly not affecting the airflow i mean they're not the best pickups i mean we can put some mess down and see how it works on low and high we'll start on low and in case that makes a difference oh my dinner quick oh i can hear a little bit of an air yeah that's getting the bits up. There's an air leak somewhere. Yeah, it definitely shows a weakness. These machines are great for surface pickup. Hard floors and tools are you know, fantastic, but yeah, they ain't deep cleaners. But of course, you could buy the electronic version. I've shown you the electronic version of this on this channel before belonging to a good friend of mine. And that's what you've got if you have lots of carbon. But equally, it has got much. Picked it up fine. If you spilt that and you know, all crumbs need to clean that up, you'd have done all right. So, this machine is in excellent working order. There is an air leak, but that will probably naturally get fixed just from taking it apart, giving it a wash, and putting it back together again. What would it be like after that? Well, I shall show you, of course. We'll see if it's any shinier, see if it can pick up any more sawdust on low and max but we'll also hopefully see 
if you're rolling around on the floor any really happier, which it flipping well should. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I and this Hoover Compact Electronic will see you soon. Bye bye.